close, 17 people are now facing charges after law enforcement say they discovered a large scale and complex drug trafficking ring that circled right through western New York. As 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley tells us, the suspects used a bizarre disguise to move the drugs into the Queen City. Not only were they purporting to sell this, but they purported to sell over $20 million worth of sea cucumbers. Federal officials working with local law enforcement have now dismantled a drug trafficking organization that was using the pretense of importing sea cucumbers into western New York as a cover for bringing in massive amounts of illegal drugs. This is an historic case for this office because never before, certainly in my history, have we had a case involving the shipment to Western New York of tons of cocaine, heroin, and fentanyl. A 30-count federal indictment now charges 17 people with numerous narcotics offenses. Authorities say the group ran a sophisticated operation that used fictitious companies to transport drugs from Mexico through California to the streets of Buffalo, Niagara Falls, and Lockport. This is an extremely sophisticated organization. They had multiple front companies. The group used bookkeepers to launch Laundry, it's drug money moving $20 million through local banks, claiming it was proceeds from sea cucumber sales. Most of you are Western New Yorkers, and I'm sure you probably have not even heard of a sea cucumber, let alone consumed a sea cucumber. But a large Buffalo police drug bust on Folger Street in 2015 really helped the investigation get going, as investigators were able to track the money back to Mexico and see that it had the influence of El Chapo's drug cartel. Dismantled an entire organization that transported tons of drugs. Wouldn't have been possible without all of these law enforcement agencies working together. One of the kingpins, Jose Ruben Gil Campos, was a mayor in Mexico. His partner, Herman Aguirre, is alleged to have direct links to El Chapo. We in Western New York will do our part by arresting and prosecuting those who bring those poisons into Western New York. The group was shipping pallets marked as sea cucumbers, but in reality, the drugs were carefully packed inside containers that were sealed with foam insulation to avoid detection. And there were even warehouses in California that were filled with nothing. And it was all part of the elaborate scheme. In the newsroom, Ed Riley 7, Eyewitness News. Quite the bust. Thank you, Ed. Authority